Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have one last section in this chapter to do, and it's solving inequalities. Now, solving inequalities is a little bit different, but not much. Because if I have 2x is equal to 10, to solve this, all I do is divide both sides by 2, x equals 5. If I have 4x minus 7 equals, I don't know, 13, I'm going to take this and I'm going to add 7 to both sides. And that is 4x equals 20. So x, if I divide both sides by 4, x equals 5. Okay, so again, not too shabby. Even if I have something like this, 4x minus 3 is equal to 7x, and let's go plus 9, okay? In this case, I have variables on both sides. I have numbers on both sides, but I can sort that out, add 3 to both sides. And that's going to get 4x equals 7x plus 12. I'm going to subtract 7x from both sides. And I'm going to get negative 3x equals 12. I'm going to divide both sides by negative 3. x equals uh, negative 4. Okay. So that's using equals. Now, if I do exactly the same problems, but instead... I do the following. 2x is greater than or equal to 10. I'm still going to have to divide both sides by 2, and I'll now have x is greater than or equal to 5. Nothing changed. You'll notice I didn't change anything here or here. All I did was divide both sides by 2, and so 2x was greater than or equal to 10, so x is greater than or equal to 5. Over here, let's say I have less than or equal. So 4x is le minus 7 is less than or equal to 13. Still going to add 7 to both sides. That's still going to give me 20. It's just 4x is now less than or equal to 20. I divide both sides by 4, and I come up with x is less than or equal to 5. In fact, there's only one time in the world that we actually change it. And instead of using uh, equal to, let's just use greater than. If 4x minus 3 is greater than 7x plus 9, I'm going to add 3 to both sides. I can add or subtract things from both sides, and it doesn't make a bit of difference, just like it did up here. And so I still have 4x is greater than 7x plus 12. And I'm going to subtract 7x. I'm moving that 7x with a minus sign. And I'm going to get negative 3x, and it's still going to be greater than 12. This is the one place it changes. Anytime I multiply or divide by a negative, that's the thing that's the problem. When I'm dividing and negative or multiplying and negative, I come over here and it becomes negative 4, but instead of greater than, I have to switch the sign. So, let me give you one more example. If I have 3x, negative 3x is less than negative 7x plus 2. All right, so here I go. I'm going to take this, I'm going to add 7x, and so I'm going to get negative 3x plus 7x is 4x less than 2. I'm going to have to divide by 4. Now my question to you is, do I change the sign from less than to greater than? Do I switch the sign? The answer is no, because I, even though I'm dividing, it's not by a negative. X is less than one half. Okay, the only time that you have to switch the sign is you switch if you multiply or divide by a negative. That is the thing to remember right there. Switch if you multiply or divide by a negative. Otherwise, the rest of the solving is exactly the same. All right.